We get so to finally. Excited. I'm so excited, guys. We finally get to tell you guys everything. Yes, I'm so excited because um, not only today are we gonna like tell you where we're going, we're gonna pick up our RV and. Oh, we get to pick it up today. Yeah. Do I get to drive it or do you? We'll talk about. It. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm actually really excited. My face doesn't look like it, but I'm very excited. I'm super excited too. Um, the two people that we work with, Jay and Kimberly, that we worked with last time, still work here and are pumped that we're back. I just saw him walk in. And they're what? They're pumped, sorry. I thought somebody was talking to me. <laughs> and they're pumped that uh, we're still back here. Because it's been almost exactly a year. Yeah, exactly, it's about a year, yeah. It, no, exactly, because we were in Joshua Tree on the 7th of August. So, was it the yeah. seven? Yeah. Wow. I was doing a we should do dance. like one of those flashbacks on our trip. See where we're yeah. at. We should have. Some, they wouldn't want to do a montage of last year's RV trip for us. <laughs> <laughs> This looks like this is gonna be ours. We're gonna do a, a smaller one this time, but I think it's gonna be great. Now I can drive it. Doug is actually showing us all the little things that go with the RV because it's a different RV than we had last time. It's similar, but it's still Class C, but it's a little bit different. So he's making sure they shows us everything that we need to know. Ooh, brand new, perfect. We may want to refresh on like the hookups, right? I, or do you think you have it? I think I know, but I'm gonna watch him again. Yeah, okay. If any outlet on the outside or within six feet of a sink or in the bathrooms, all around, they're usually all on the same circuit. I got you. Yeah, and it goes into uh, mm -hmm. that guy. Yeah. You have an exterior shower. You have to unlock it with the key. Okay. Uh, it's just like not a lot. Oh, that's pretty cool. You guys remember this from last year? Yeah, the black. The black and the gray water. Yeah. And so you just hook your your hose goes on there, mm -hmm. and then it just turns on. And what most people do is you open your black tank first, mm -hmm. and then open the gray because it kind of helps it flush yeah. it out. Yeah. Do you remember that jar? I do. So you open the black and then. I was the one doing it all the time. Trust I know. Me, I, I just remember. want to make sure. I did the driving. He did the, all I, the dirty work. I remember that. <laughs> Trust me, that was not gonna ever go out of my mind. And then... Nice. There we go. This is nice. This one is super cool. Table folds down. We got the bed right there. We have our kitchen. Huge bathroom. Got the refrigerator, Doug's shown us everything. It connects to an outdoor shower, so if we are taking the dogs on a hike or anything of that sort, what we can do is we can actually wash them off outside and not bring them in here so they're not getting everything super dirty. But this will be nice too because this will fold down and it'll become one big bed and all the pups can lay on there while we lay back there. Really, this is really, really nice. Huge up here space for storage or if Charles needs to lay it there because I want a whole bed to myself. <laughs> We have a smoke detector and then a carbon monoxide uh, detector down here um, just for safety reasons. The nice thing is this is actually right by the kitchen. Very smart spot for it. The nice thing is that we're super familiar with all of these things that are already in the survey. So it's just kind of like a refresh for us. But this is a really nice detector. I'm loving it. Are you loving it? I like it. And I've noticed that the things are tinted up here. Yeah. Tinted windows. Let's, let's see. One of the cool features that they have is that it has not only a backup camera, but it has cameras on each of the mirrors. So if I'm going to go left, it's going to show me back behind me, and then the right. It's going to make things a lot easier than last time. <laughs> spoiled. It feels spoiled. Considering what we were just used to with the uh, tour bus, look at this. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to like, kind of weasel around at all here. This is really nice. I like this size. This is a perfect size. There's no excess space. Like last time, there's like this, this, like I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Just extra length, but extra length, it was just that needed. Yeah. And honestly, the difference between the 
Let's no, we never really did. We just put everything up there. You guys excited? We have it. Oh, yep, there we go. I remember that. Keep the pups from going out. Have we said where we're going yet? Not yet. Do you want to tell them? Guys, we're heading to Utah. We're going to do all the things in Utah that we were not able to do. Zion, Bryce, Bryce. Arches. Yeah, we're going to do like five, maybe more national parks there because we're going to be on a road trip for 14 days with Lazy Days. I'm so excited. We're going to Utah! <laughs> And what I'm gonna do is in the eye up there in the description, I'm gonna make a little playlist of the RV honeymoon trip that we did with them as well. That one was amazing because we had it for three or four weeks but we went all over the country, but we really didn't get to do much. We would go from one place, drive for like 16, 17 hours and get to another place and drive again, which was awesome because we got to see a lot of places we would never see. But we just didn't get to spend a valuable yeah. amount of time. So this way we Like figured... Yellowstone, we were only there for like a day. The Redwoods, we were there two days, but there were some places where we just couldn't, like the Redwoods, we were only supposed to be there for one day, and then we were there, and we're like, nope, we're staying as long as we possibly can. Because that's what we had last time, and I think... No, we had bigger ones than that. It was like the one in the See, that's, that's too big. That's a little too big. That one looks like Optimus Prime right there. Or at Lazy Days. And tools and knickknacks and motorized. That's all scoot over there. I want to get. We got this last year, right? For our yes. Home. They basically have anything and everything that you can need for your RV in this store. And the nice thing about it is like it's on site, so you kind of have a totally different experience. And I love it. There's everything from cups and towels to things that you may need for your shower, even pillows. Look at this, mattress toppers, mattresses. When purchasing an RV, you wanna customize it just like you do with everything within your home, and you can get all of that here, which I think is pretty cool. I get the dark. Like a, literally a one-stop shop, which makes my life easier because you like know no me, I go everywhere. You can in come there. in here and you can get your entire RV completely customized at this actual location in Tampa. And then you can put these cool little lights and be cool. It's pretty cool. Taking it home. Got to remember how to make sure everything's unplugged. It's been a year. It's literally been a year. So everything I think is going to somewhat come. I hope everything's going to start coming back to me just like riding a bike. I have like butterflies. I'm so excited. Well, it's not taking you to the beginning of the trip. I guess it's kind of. We well, got to pack of, it. I mean, that's we got to pack. Get some last minute this stuff. This one even has... And she's purring. Yes, I just said a very old person saying, ah, it's purring. All right, you ready? She wants to drive first, so. Oh, these might be good hiking boots there, babe. We still gotta find Allie some hiking boots. This is probably the worst place to come to for that. I thought I would give it It's worth a shot. Well, he's got her boots. Because I saw these too, because I saw a lot of stuff, and then I saw a lot of stuff about these like tennis shoes. I think the boots are the smartest thing, to be honest yeah. with you, because they're more versatile, right? I think. Probably my eyes off. Why? Shaved off half my. I just got my eyes. People are going to think I'm crazy. I just got my eyebrows threaded, and literally my half of my right eyebrow is gone. This, I mean, it's not that bad. It is. Females, it's not that bad, I think females are now. Females will understand because I had a full eyebrow and now I have a naked eyebrow. And like, have the. You still. Over here. Okay, so she still has an eyebrow. I do, but it's it's not. It's nowhere. These are not twins. They should be twins. <laughs> or at least, like, well, they're not, not identical twins. Yeah, they're not identical they twins. Fraternal, and they're not fraternal. Excuse me. They're not fraternal anymore. <laughs> now, this is the older sister and the baby that was just born. <laughs> they're just like, meh. Girls, I, I know girls can feel your pain. It's okay, babe. I, I sound like a total turd, and I know everyone is going to be saying their, their stuff. But you don't know when they don't have one, okay? <laughs> you don't understand until what Well, you... she has one, so just... Mm. These are my new favorite shoe. Freaking want them so bad. They're so cool. 
Now the slow process of getting everything here into there. We are going to bring this thing out of retirement for this trip. You want to ride it? Do you, you want to ride? Don't have a, oh my God, if we brought the dirt bike, they're actually sending a quote unquote bigger one. So we'll see how that goes. I said not to give me a big, I said, you should probably just give me a freaking small one, but they're very generous and nice people. Last time I rode this thing anywhere, kind of resorted to some sort of a bad time. Gonna have a bad time. That's pretty much what I have. Just after coming back from the shower, I hit a f***ing rock. So I retire from skateboarding. Nerd Rock is now fixing me. I don't even know if this is working because my camera is still completely messed up. The back of the camera, completely goofed up. I didn't even know it should be something. <laughs> Nobody noticed the fact that my food was perfectly wrapped though, and I'm eating a delicious meal now. I couldn't even find the wrapping catering. <laughs> yep, so we're looking forward to that in uh, Utah. By the way, that was all Marley. We kind of obviously showed you guys the footage. We thought it was Diesel, but it was this one right here. And we thought it was you. Come here, you go. <laughs> the Velociraptor. It's a little late, but we were just getting kind of like the rest of the things done around St. Pete before we wanted to come in and start packing some of our stuff. But that's kind of what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of like, prepping it before we hit the road because tomorrow Charles is going to be getting his tattoo and then we're going to be heading to the actual Lazy Days Resort to stay there tomorrow night and then kind of get a jump start on our trip and I just wanted to come in and kind of get things prepped. I'm starting to fill it up with all of our necessary supplies. Bathroom? Bathroom is bomb, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Last time we had to really try and make things work and it was kind of, it wasn't bad, it was just a little bit harder. Instead of having stuff laying everywhere, we can actually put it all the way up here, which makes it better for us. So that things aren't gonna be flying around while we're driving. And honestly, I think that packing this time is gonna be so much better than what it was last year because we know what we need and what we don't need. We're, we are two people that are very prone to actually overpacking. <laughs> We got everything done. Well, actually, no, we didn't get everything done. We got a lot of stuff in the RV. We still got a lot of packing. Tomorrow morning, I leave to go get um, with the uh, Dimas, and we're gonna start on this side of my arm uh, with the, my neck sleeve, and then you guys get to see that too. So that's going to be exciting because I haven't told you guys what it is. Um, we're getting ready to leave for the RV trip. That means you guys are coming on our little trip to Utah. We're gonna go to Zion, all those things. That We'll talk more and more in the next couple days, probably tomorrow, and tell you more of our, our ideas. But for now, I'm gonna to go to bed because I have an early, long day tomorrow. So have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow, bye.